Hello, and welcome to McAllen ISD Spotlight. I'm Dr. Rosalba de Hoyos, your interim superintendent. Today, we're here to discuss our outstanding career technical education programs. We have many career paths for students to take. Just like last year, we added an aviation program. That is why we're here at this beautiful McAllen International Airport. I have a career technical education leadership team here with me to share more about these wonderful programs. I would like them to introduce themselves. I'm Lily Santoval Silva, Director of Career Technical Education. Hi, Diana A. Peña, Coordinator for Career Technical Education. I'm Monica Peña, also CTE Coordinator. I'm David Lyons, CTE Coordinator. Mrs. Silva, thank you for being here with us today. Tell us about our career technical education programs. Our career technical education program provides some of the programs that students are able to participate in, include health science, agriculture science, engineering STEM, and auto technology. Very valuable opportunities that said students are able to earn licenses and certifications at no cost to parents. That is amazing that our students can be so well set up after graduation. Now, I know the CTE programs also helps with the child's mental and emotional development. Tell us about that. When students enroll in any of our career technical education programs, they also have the opportunity to participate in our nationally recognized student organizations. And when they do this, they delve deeper into their career of interest and when they compete or they participate in meetings, they can also, that enhances the opportunity to develop their emotional quotient. So that is a very important concept for students to have that experience prior to going out there to the workforce or to their post-secondary experiences or both. And I know that mental health and emotional wellness not only enhances students overall well-being, but also contributes to safer and more successful careers such as pilots. Mr. Lyons, tell us about the aviation program. I'd love to do that. Let me tell you about it. Um, well, last year was our first year that we offered the program. We had 12 students embark on their aviation journey. Uh, from the results from last year, out of those 12 students, four of them earned their private pilot license as well as six of them earned their remote drone license. This year, however, we expanded our program. Uh, we applied uh, to the Texas Education Agency for a regional program of study in aviation. We were approved for that aviation program. Uh, not only our district, we, we did that, the whole region can actually do that as well. Uh, in doing so, uh, we uh, started with a program with uh, Intro to Aviation and Intro to Unmanned Flight. So now we have a total of 24 students in that program. 12 are in those first two courses, and the other 12 are in our practicum and transportation course in aviation. Uh, in doing so, we expanded the practicum course from a two-hour course to a three-hour course, and we're seeing the fruits of our labor already. Last year at this time, we had zero students soloing. Now we have four students that have already soloed in their career. And another thing, this is a tremendous opportunity for students. They're getting a like $16,000 discount to do this. If, if you or I were to do this right now, that's how much we would have to pay. So this is a wonderful students, wonderful opportunity for our students. That is incredible for our students to have that opportunity here at McAllen ISD. Another opportunity that they have, Ms. Peña, is our Youth Entrepreneurship Development Program. Tell us about that program. Yes, it's a unique opportunity for all our students to take advantage of. Anybody that is uh, interested in any type of business career, it sets a strong foundation for them to prepare with real life uh, world experiences in the classroom. Um, so pretty much students are set in groups and they start creating a product or service based off of a problem. So the product or the service is a solution uh, to this problem. And so as the year progresses, uh, mentors come into the classroom to help them not only support them and guide them, but also offer feedback uh, to the program, um, the product or the service. And at the end of the year, they have a Shark Tank style final pitch where they pretty much compete for investment funds to continue their business, uh, not only during high school, but even post-secondary. That is wonderful to hear. 
We also have another program, Robotics. Ms. Diana Peña, tell us about robotics. Sure. Well, McAllen ISD has actually been involved in robotics for the past eight years, and we compete through an organization called FIRST. We actually have robotics teams right now that are from elementary, middle, and high school. In fact, we have over 30 teams. Now, the great thing about robotics is that you might think, well, my child doesn't like engineering or STEM or programming. Well, FIRST is more than that. In fact, it really uh, joins our emotional intelligence because it's all about cooperation. It's not about winning. It's about cooperating to solve a common uh, problem. Not only that, there are millions of dollars in scholarship opportunities through FIRST, even if your child was only on a FIRST team one year. So that's a great opportunity that we have for our kids. And we also have the reigning state champion, UIL state champion, which is at uh, Memorial High School, Team Osiris, and a world champion team, which is Team Gigabots from Mackay, who just competed at the world event in Houston uh, last March. That is amazing that we have all these robotics teams. We also have another program that is fairly new, our culinary arts program. Ms. Diana, tell us about that. Culinary arts is something that not only you think about going into a restaurant, there are more opportunities in working at a restaurant and working at a hotel. There are actually opportunities at NASA for chefs, opportunities in the military for chefs. This is a 73.8 billion dollar industry here in Texas. And we're fixing to get more students involved in culinary arts once we start our CAFE, which stands for Culinary Arts for Everyone, where our STRIDE students and our CTE students will work hand in hand to serve not only our McAllen ISD staff, but eventually the public. That is wonderful to hear. Thank you for your involvement, your cooperation, your time and your commitment for our students here at McAllen ISD. To find out more about these programs, contact your child's counselor or call the Career Technical Education Office at 956-632-5181. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you next time.